Ecclesiastes chapter 28. He that revengeth shall find vengeance from the Lord, and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee, so shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. One man beareth hatred against another, and doth he seek pardon from the Lord? He showeth no mercy to a man, which is like himself, and doth he ask forgiveness of his own sins? If he that is but flesh nourish hatred, who will entreat for pardon of his sins? Remember thy end, and let enmity cease. Remember corruption and death, and abide in the commandments. Remember the commandments, and bear no malice to thy neighbor. Remember the covenant of the highest, and wink with ignorance. Abstain from strife, and thou shalt diminish thy sins. For a fierce man will kindle strife. A sinful man disquieteth friends, and maketh debate among them that be at peace. As the matter of the fire is, so it burneth, and as a man's strength is, so is his wrath, and according to his riches his anger riseth, and the stronger they are which contend, the more they will be inflamed, and hasty contention kindleth a fire, and in hasty fighting sheddeth blood. If thou blow the spark, it shall burn, if thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched, and both this come out of thy mouth. Curse the whisperer and double tongue, for such have destroyed many that were at peace. A backbiting tongue hath disquieted many, and driven them from nation to nation. Strong cities hath it pulled down, and overthrown the houses of great men. A backbiting tongue hath cast out virtuous women, and deprived them of their labors. Whoso hearkeneth unto it shall never find rest, and never dwell quietly. The stroke of the whip maketh marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaketh the bones. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue. Well is he that is defended through the venom thereof, who hath not drawn the yoke thereof, nor hath been bound in our bands. For the yoke thereof is a yoke of iron, and the bands thereof are bands of brass. The death thereof is an evil death, the grave were better than it. It shall not have rule over them that fear God, neither shall they be burned with the flame thereof. Such as forsake the Lord shall fall into it, and it shall burn in them, and not be quenched. It shall be sent upon them as a lion, and devour them as a leopard. Look that thou hedge thy possession about with thorns, and bind up thy silver and gold, and weigh thy words in a balance, and make a door and bar for thy mouth. Beware thou slide not by it, lest thou fall before him that lieth in wait. <laughs>